everybody <clears throat> excuse me so this is the astrology for May 6 through 12 um, and I'm doing this before the weekly reading of course you know so make sure you click on the one that's for you your element and then you can see your weekly forecast but astrology wise it's still the same as last week I would say roughly um, Jupiter Saturn Pluto and the North Node are all in retrograde right now still this week and it brings about a lot of changes um, I know you're starting to feel them okay um, it's like a change in your life plan well the North Node changes your life plan and it feels like it's going in a different direction Pluto comes to clean up your life um, and help you revisit challenges that you may have so you can overcome them Saturn is bringing in uh, the banishment of bad habits people situations understandings um, so you can get yourself uh, more mentally uh, clear um, it's like getting that stuff out of your life you don't need so you can focus on cleaning up your life and your your direction and all that Jupiter um, does what deals with your inner self okay um, it expands yourself so you can be uh, more able to grow you know internally externally with what's coming towards you so for those of you who know me you know I like to pull intuitive cards I like to get messages alright there's just two you have positive oh, this one too positive move oh look at <laughs> positive movement forward intuition crown chakra choose wisely okay you're moving you move you're moving into a new transition in your life okay um, intuitively you may not have been listening to yourself that's gonna change that's going to change and you're going to start listening to yourself because you're realizing that your body, your experiences, your situations are telling you, you know, what you need in your life. It's just about the way that you look at things. Okay. Your, your crown chakra is helping you connect with spirit. Your intuition is getting, is getting stronger um, this week. You're starting to realize and see things and it's about the choices that you're going to make this week or moving forward. What kind of choices do you want to make? What do you want in your life? Your intuition and and your propel f forward. Why do I feel like that's the wrong way to say that? But it's preparing you. It's preparing you to make better decisions. There are going to be challenges, okay, this week. You just have to make the right decisions. So. The other thing you have is the sun in Taurus. Um, the sun's in Taurus right now. Happy birthday, Taurus. <laughs> uh, the sun being in Taurus, it talks about your persistence. Okay. Um, with all that retrograde energy and all of those changes, it, it's, it's time for you to... It's very interesting because it feels like you want to rely on things. Okay. Which... It's hard because you can't rely on your old self because things are changing so much. Um, it does have that persistence so with Taurus. So you have to understand that old things, old ways are not working. Everything's trying to propel you forward in May, especially this week. Okay. So we're going to go to your reading. Thank you so much for Hello, listening. Guys. I love you so Hello. much. See you next week. Bye -bye. This is the weekly reading for the element of water. So we're going to start with Cancer Spirit. What do you have for Cancer for May 6th through 12th? What would you like them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? Eight of Cups in Reverse, Queen of Swords, she keeps making an appearance everywhere, King of Swords in Reverse, 
Seven of Swords, Death card in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse. Overall energy, you have the Two of Swords and the Five of Swords. Okay. Two of Swords and the Five of Swords, Cancer. Confusion. Um, it feels like to me you're battling with old situations, like going back to old things, old people, old situations that don't help you. But it's a feeling of comfortability there because that's what you know. Knowing that you have the choice to make two, to go in two directions. One is better for you than the other for sure. But it's about you making your own choices and making better choices, Cancer. You're definitely going back to something. Something that you walked away from. Be careful. Because there's a feeling of, oh, I can do this, but that doesn't mean that I'm totally in it, you know? It's like you... You think that you can handle it. You may be going back due to some lies or some deception or even feeling like you can do it. You can step in and step out and it's not a big deal. So be really careful about that. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Or this could just be you. I feel like you're trying to be helpful in your own way. But it's not the smartest thing for you to do. You know that you could have clear knowledge and clear thinking. But you may be manipulating yourself to feel like you can handle it. Okay? I feel like this is going to put a strain on happiness for you or a delay on happiness. Because you didn't make the changes you were supposed to make. There's a feeling of deception and lies. Um, it's almost like you're deceiving yourself and the other person. Is feeling like you deceive them. I feel like more than two, three, four people, three, four, three or four people are involved in this situation. This is for somebody specific for sure. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Magician. You have the power here, Cancer, to make the right decisions, to make the right choices, to make the right moves. It's like you're it's like you're being guided whether this be spiritually or by someone else to make the right decisions. But you don't like feeling like someone is pushing you or feeling like you have to do something. So you're perceiving that you can do all these things and still make it work. It's it's almost like you are trying to be strong in your own right. But it's not time. Like you're not quite there yet. You're not quite developed enough. Even though you think that you may be. I feel like someone knows how to pull your heartstrings. Someone knows how to manipulate you. But I also feel like you're doing it out of the goodness of your heart too. It's not to be angry or mean. You know like or deceitful in any way. Be careful that you're taking steps back, Cancer. Be careful. Because I feel like you're making movement forward. And the faster that you're moving forward, you can also move that fast going backwards. Nine 
the movements that you make this week should only be towards your growth or where you're trying to go please keep that in mind this week cancer Okay, next we have Scorpio. Spirit, Guardian Angel. <laughs> what do you have for Scorpio? For May 6th through 12th, 2018, what would you like them to know? Pay attention to, be aware of, Scorpio. You have the High Priestess in reverse. The Chariot in reverse. The Hermit in reverse. The Ace of Cups in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse. And the Three of Swords in reverse. You have the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, Scorpio. Why do I feel like this is the remnants of an intense feeling that you were having? Some intense emotions you've been dealing with. This is like... This is like the after effects. Okay. So you definitely come to some sort of epiphanies this week. Some sort of clarity. You feel triumphant over what it is that you have dealt with and why I feel like it's about last week. I can't even remember what last week's reading was about. But it feels like it has something to do with last week. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. It has its moments. Look, all of a sudden. <laughs> so there's definitely some clarity. And now you're putting things together. I feel like there's knowledge, there's clarity, there's victory. And now things are being put together in a way, you know, like putting life together or putting situations together in a way to finish, quote unquote, the situation. You have the high priestess in reverse. Hmm. Definitely going through a situation where there needs to be a reality check or you are doing a reality check about something that doesn't make you happy anymore. A person, a new love situation, something that maybe had just started that's not really working very well for you. I feel like you're gonna cut it off. Where you were moving forward it is ending. You may not even have control over the situation anymore. That aspect of it is not happening anymore. That control, the, the admiration that you have for this situation is not there. It could be that you felt like someone manipulated you. Cancer, um, I'm sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you don't want that in your life. You're starting to, it's like you've come to the head of understanding that that's what this was. So you're coming out of introspection, a time where 
it feels like you kind of let things pass over you. You you kind of go through life in a shroud. And within that shroud, you're doing a lot of thinking and a lot of contemplating, following your own dreams, but also listening to others or what they have to say, taking in their account of situations. But that is going to stop and you are now coming out fully 100% out of the shroud. It's like you're throwing the shroud off. And you're now healing yourself by putting the pieces together. Like I said, that clarity. Hmm. King of Cups in reverse. Hangman. Why did I know the hangman was coming up? Oh, thank you, spirit. Page in upright. The page of swords. Whoever this person is that's manipulative or very smart and almost uh, abusive in their communication or the way that they um, do things, their reactions to things, is a very cunning person. Um, I feel like they're very smart. Uh, I'm getting a very come in and out energy, but it's they make it seem like it's your idea. They learn you very well and then they play off of that. Hmm. So, King of Cups in reverse. Emotionally, this is not good for you. This person, this situation, you're seeing that this is not good for you. You know that you need to make changes because it's getting out of your control. You've held on enough by not saying anything or not moving, and now you're officially moving. This feels official to me. This feels like officially I'm done. Officially I'm moving on. Officially I'm smarter. Officially we're moving past this. That's what that feels like to me, Scorpio. So let's see what your card is. <laughs> Prosperity begins. You are building more solid structures for yourself. You want success and health and opportunity and good times. You want to feel good. You want to feel in line with your future. You want to feel supported. You want to feel strong. You want to feel like you have something in your life that actually grows. Something that is reliable. Something that is going to be there. And I feel like you're not going to settle for less. I feel like you're starting a new chapter this week, Scorpio. I have no worries for you. I'm going to be honest. I don't feel any worries for you. Okay, let's see what we have for Pisces. Spirit, what do you have for Pisces for May 6th through 12th? What would you like them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of? Pisces, May 6th through 12th. Okay, we have the Six of Wands in reverse, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Devil. Lots of major arcana cards. Well, no, they're not, but I feel like <laughs> Six of Cups and the Star card. So Pisces is not major arcana cards. I feel like it's just, I don't know. It feels significant. And it also feels, it doesn't feel tight, like complex. It just feels like it has some sort of significance, like a learning lesson. Okay, so with the Six of Cups and the Star card here, 
you may be going back to a situation a person in hopes that things can get better in hopes of healing a situation with the star card the star card does bring about healing within a particular situation okay it brings about inspiration hope you know like hope of building after something has happened or after you've made a, com a decision but you're going back to something reviving something starting something over again maybe someone from your past situation from your past maybe there is just a feeling like you want to start something back up because you have hope that it's going to be different this time okay so right now you are the six of wands in reverse so the six of wands in reverse for you means that socially you feel left out i feel like you're not getting the attention that you thought you would maybe in the dating scene Maybe in the work scene. And you want to have more control. You want to be supported. You want to feel like this is your domain. Like if you're dating, you want to be like, dating is my thing. I'm good at dating. You know, like I have these things to choose from everybody wants me not in an egotistic it's egotistical way but knowing that you don't have to keep thinking about it panning over it it's just something that comes to you naturally okay now i feel like you may be making a decision between that and someone from the past situation from the past someone that you were dealing with with it, it may be a um aries leo or sagittarius um i feel like this person always pans for you like this is an opportunity that you could have it's like i can have opportunities with others or i can deal with what i've had already um it, it's a company with the devil card because i feel like you've had issues with this person in the past but somehow you're still bonded to this person. There's some sort of connection, some sort of feeling that you have with this person that is really hard to break. They may not be good for you or the idea of them or the type of situation that you're in is maybe not good for them. Or if this is work, this is a job that was not good for you before and maybe you let it go, but there was some aspects of it that were really good for you. So it's like you're choosing between the two. Should I deal with being a lone wolf and not uh, getting the acceptance by the public that I want? Or should I go directly into what I know, what I know, okay? And I feel like you're struggling and fighting with that. And you're trying to make the right decisions and be strong. Because you want to be secure. You want to have some sort of control over your life. Ten of Cups. Knight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Pisces, you just want to be happy. And you just want to go in the direction of where you're going to find ultimate happiness. I feel like there's a lot of communication with this person from the past and they're starting to give you some sort of hope. And that's where all this is coming from. That's where all of it is stemming from. But you also know that this is a difficult decision. This is not something that you can just walk into just merrily.
the waiting game. Like I said, you're definitely in between two things. But what's very interesting is I'm feeling like this week is not a week for you to make decisions, Pisces. This is a week for you to just be, to just see what's going on, to just kind of weigh things out. Take your time, step lightly. Because I feel like whatever you start this week is just going to go around in circles. It's going to be just the way that it was before. You know, like it's not. Just be careful about starting new things. Okay. Because right now you're just at the beginning of something. You're at the early stages of starting something new in your life. The star card comes up as a reminder to that. That you're healing from things being knocked down. It's like you may have trouble, especially with all these retrogrades, you may have trouble understanding where your direction is all these changes you feel and you're struggling to find something that is a reminder of the past and that's something i feel like that you need to see you need to understand that that that's what's happening okay so thank you so much for listening i will see you next week i love you very much love and light bye bye